into this video I want to make about sleep <laughs> what is that man I'm just coming from trying to get drop this matter of fact I'm, I'm about to drop this trailer right now and God knows man I just don't have the energy after I drop this to muster up to get out and look for an empty but it's days like this where you better find energy because I mean it got to get done so you know to be continued on days like this when you be super tired there's times where you know you need an empty but there's times where you like man I wish I can just bobtail and just go somewhere and go to sleep I do not feel like having to ride through this muddy, crazy terrain <laughs> to try to find a freaking empty. And I'm stumped. I mean, I'm sleepy. It's one of them nod off. It's one of them nod off days. At least the truck stop is only like two miles away. But yeah, that fatigue is real as well. You got so many emotions, ups and downs. You got so much stuff you deal with just to be in the true truck again. All right, I'll we shall return. <sighs> Add to the work for the sleep night. Gotta do my paperwork. So, not only do I gotta find a trailer, I mean, I could wait to do paperwork. But like I said, I do my stuff so that I don't forget and I ain't gotta worry about it. So, Petey will keep me up. You gonna keep me up, Petey? <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me get this paperwork done. When I go park, and I'm gonna finish this conversation off. So, obviously, clip the clip, honey. I'll be right back. I finally made it to shut down. Yes. Okay. In continuance from the last two clips, this video is pretty much going to be about, you know, just. You know, trying to have the energy when you still have things to do before you shut down or throughout your work day. Now, a lot of times, you know, as a reefer driver, obviously, you know, if you drive in different divisions, like I just found out that flatbedders, you know, when they deliver, they deliver during normal business hours. So obviously this may apply to them and this might not, but there's a lot of times where I done drove a full maybe 10 hour shift, maybe nine hour, just just the point blank of I done drove a long way. So by the time I get there, I am so exhausted that I don't have the energy to truly get out and you know check in. So there's a lot of times that I have to just, you know, find muster some type of energy somewhere to roll about this truck. First of all, go into the security guard if it requires going in there. Cause sometimes you can pull up and then walk to your truck and you give them the paperwork. But then sometimes you gotta get out and give them the paperwork for them to assign you a door. So, you know, a lot of times that be rough. And I believe the roughest part of all, you know, about sleep that ha, you just, what is that? You know, like people think that, you know, obviously they say you get a 10 hour break you know to reset your clock and within them 10 hours you should be getting at least eight hours of sleep but a lot of the times if you're doing loads that um you know requires for you to probably get there the same day there's no way you you're getting your full either four eight hours or four ten hours because you know say you get there and now you wasting a whole hour of of your off duty time or sleeper berth. Most likely you probably gonna put yourself in the sleeper berth when you get there. So now you wasting maybe almost an hour, up to an hour checking in. So that's an hour which gives you nine hours. So okay, when you get get checked in and then you back into a door, what it might take them maybe four. It really varies. There's no set time on on when uh, receivers what they take to unload you. But just say it takes, say you lay down after losing an hour off your tent. Now they might take maybe four hours or even three hours to unload you. Now you done got all deep in your sleep, probably drooling and everything. And now all you hear is, you know how mad 
I know, I don't know about no other driver, but I be pissed. Sometimes I don't even get up right away. I might, I might wait about a minute or two before I get up because I be, some days, some nights, I be exhausted. And then there's times where some places they don't come out to your truck to let you know that your load is done. They'll give you a pager or they'll call your phone. Now there's a lot of times where I might be deep in the sleep and I hear my phone vibrator go off. I'll be like, shit. <laughs> I know I said I won't go and cuss, but in situations like that, man, don't nobody want to be broken out their sleep, especially when they're super tired. Even when the pager, like the little pager thing they give you go off, you be like, oh my goodness. There's times where I might have just laid there for maybe like 20 minutes <laughs> before I went in because I was just that tired. It's some nights where you get that tired where you just cannot just jump up like that. Like, I mean, if you really be dirt dog tired, like it gets rough. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to stress nobody out, but obviously these videos is to inform and I'm not going to sit here and that like it's so many happy days and this is glorified. I mean, it's glorified with the money. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I mean, like I said, I'm in transitioning from a divorce. So, like I said, I'm pretty much the provider in my home. And, you know, I've, I've been able to furnish my whole house, you know, doing my job. Whereas, if I would have had a 9 to 5, it probably would have took me way longer to furnish my whole house. So, that goes to show, I mean, it's, it's glorified financially. But the work and stuff you got to endure out here can be a headache. But then you do got good days too out here. But the sleep thing, oh my goodness. I mean, I be trying. It's like, and then even like when driving, like I, like I made a fatigue video about how, you know, you might be gnawing like this. Like, it's like, it's like you get a, you know how uh, runners, like they, they run a race and they get really tired and they feel like they losing breath. But somehow, some way, they get a second win. And that's kind of what it's like out here. Like, you be so tired, like you just about to lose the race. But then every now and then, you get a second win to where you get this little burst of energy to where you can make it, you know, to finish a drive, you know. But then sometimes you can't. You got to pull over. But even the second win to getting up, when you just, you know, you're supposed to be doing your 10 or 8 hours sleep. And now you you at this uh, receiver trying to do a delivery and they breaking that. So you got to get a second one to get up out your bunk and to walk. Because sometimes walking like from your dock door to where you might have to walk to um, get your paperwork. Sometimes that don't be you no know, like just right next door. You might have to walk almost probably almost the equivalent of maybe a half a block just to go walk to the um, receiver and go in there and get your paperwork. So not only do you got to you know roll yourself out of bed to get out the truck then you gotta you know muster the energy to walk that little mini half a block to the um receiver to get your paperwork so it, it, it be rough it be rough and like me sometimes like i don't like to when i go to sleep i don't like to sleep in clothes that i've been working in all day so <laughs> not only do i gotta muster up the energy to get myself out of bed now I gotta must up the energy to put my stuff on. Like all this stuff sounds simple to people that don't drive or never drove, but when you get out here, small stuff is means a uh, means the biggest things out here. Stuff that you took for granted, you won't take for granted no more. Like I said, I used to take for granted a bathroom. I don't take it for granted no more. I value, I value a bathtub way more. I value a toilet. I value a sink. I value a kitchen. I value time with my kids. Shoot, if I get if I get a good man, I value a relationship where I'm not gone. I there's a whole lot of stuff that I'm learning to value because I took it for granted because I had it all the time. But when you come out here in this truck gang life you lose out on a lot and you realize what matters to you and what's important so yeah even even down to okay what sleep high it ain't even just getting your sleep broken when you get to these shippers or receivers like say you come to a truck stop and the truck stop is full so now you might gotta park weird to where you like maybe park in front of the pumps maybe where um people come drop fuel off or you just park somewhere where you ain't supposed to be so i guess when they realize that you parked in a no parking zone they knock on your door for that and you got to get up and it gets broken so 
I'm telling you, like, the sleep, sleep for us out here, it gets rough. <laughs> I'm sorry for dropping my phone. And I hope y'all not upside down. Yeah, but I mean, like, when it, when it really gets bad, I drink, a, well, I ain't gonna say a lot because I'm not really into energy drinks, but if I have to, you know, I will pull out that five hour energy real quick and I can be like really nodding off, like just like head just hanging like this nodding off. And when I pop either just half or all of that five hour energy, I perk right back up. I'm like, I wonder what's in that stuff because that stuff will wake you up for a good amount of time. Like it'll get you through your drive or coffee. So, I mean, I, I like I said, I can truly see why, because, you know, in the 60s and 70s, when they was driving, they used to take, take drugs like cocaine or meth or all kind of crazy things. I would never do nothing like that, but I can understand how they would, because back then, in those days, they wasn't using, um, I don't even think they had logs at all in the 60s or 70s. In the 60s or 70s, there were no mandated type of law. I don't even think there were paper logs. I don't think logs uh, came um, as far as law became legal until the 80s, 80s on up. So, yeah, you know, it gets rough for us. So that's why a lot of times, if you really look at drivers that really like be out there hustling, most of them probably got some type of bags under their eyes because they out here hustling, trying to get that money. And a uh, part of the hustling is, you know, you your sleep is broken. And then a lot of times too, like even just say, you know, you shut down. Some people might be having a lot going on at home to where they might be stressed out. So they might not even go to sleep right away. Some people have a hard time sleeping. So they might either waste half of their 10 hour break staying up because they can't sleep. Or they might just don't even go to sleep that period. And now they got a day, 10 hour day break is up. So now they got to drive even though they ain't getting no sleep. Or maybe they not managing sleep right because they on the phone. Maybe they got a crazy girlfriend at home that's just, you know, messing with their mind. Or for women, got a crazy man at home that's just messing up their mind. So, I mean, there's a lot to it. Like, sleep, what in the world is that? Shoot. And then even down to, um, to like, you know, the loads you take. Like, sometimes, some load times, you know, might have you where you might have been driving night the night before but then now this load might start you off to where you might be starting off in the daytime especially if you coming off a 34 hour reset like you know for the most part you know if you're not doing that 34 hour reset you might pretty much stay on whatever shift you started whether it's night or day but i mean if you're coming off a, um, a reset then that can change up your hours so I mean, you might might be used to sleeping at night, but now this trip call for you to where you got to drive night. Or you might be sleeping during the day, but now this trip causing you to where you got to drive during the day. So you really got to learn to change your, you know, to adapt your sleeping patterns because there's no such thing as like, like straight sleep out here. Like, like before I came out here, I could sleep with a breeze i could probably sleep all day if i wanted to but my sleep patterns and got so broken now to where it ain't no thing for me to just pop right on up like i mean this kind of remind me of the military a little bit because obviously before you go to the military you probably you know was a person that could sleep a long time or all day but then in the military you got to be punctual so up 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 get up get out that bunk you know get up get yourself ready it's about being early is on time if you on time you're late so that's the same thing out here. You know, early is on time, on time is late. So you gotta be able to pop up out that bunk when time calls because you either gotta deliver this low, you gotta pick it up, time is money. So yeah, I hope I gave every scenario that I can think of when it comes to sleep. Ha, what is that? There's no such thing as that out here. At least it don't seem like it. <laughs> like I said, I see why babies cry when they sleepy. Because, man, when I be behind this wheel, and I know, first of all, and I know I can't pull over because there's just no safe way to pull over, man, I be crying. Like, I, inside, I be like, oh, my goodness, this can't, this can't be happening. I'm so tired. Like, it, it sometimes it can get miserable tired. Like, oh, my goodness, I, I really hope there's a truck stop coming up, you know, or whatever. Because sometimes... You can plan to stop somewhere, you know, from the trip plan and everything. 
But then sometimes you start off all perked up, like driving, but maybe halfway through your, your 10 hour driving or halfway through your nine hour, eight hour driving, the sleep just come down on you. Like it just come down on you out of nowhere. You be like, oh damn, what is going on? I had all the energy just some hours ago. Now I'm nodding off. I tell you, boy, you really get indoctrinated into trucking. That's the next video I'm going to make. Initiated into trucking. Trucking is like a gang. Like you know how in a gang, you got to you got to prove yourself by getting beat up at first and all that stuff getting initiated. You darn sure get initiated into this trucking thing. You get initiated. But once you get in there, once you get good in the gang, you in it for life. So, yeah, guys. So, I'm tired. So, let me I'm sitting up here wasting what? 13 minutes you know of my of my 10 hour break let me stop messing around with y'all and get this proper rest so that i can get up and go all right y'all <laughs> time is of the essence let's make better time of it so that we can love each other and not judge each other because i love y'all and i would never judge y'all i hope y'all know and believe that if you don't then you know i don't know what to tell you because it's true all right y'all Deuces. Say bye, Lainey. <laughs> Lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me get off here, dude.